Hey guys, so I want to do a video sort of talking about which character potentially could be getting a Zenkai Awakening as part of the first, you know, section of the fifth year anniversary here in Dragon Ball Legends. So during the reveal and stuff, they gave us a lot of information. In fact, I think the actual video was around 35 or 36 minutes, one of the longest reveals that we've ever seen. And that's just because this anniversary has so much content. This anniversary, this part one, has probably been the single best start to an anniversary we've ever seen, including the first year anniversary, which I would say up until this point was easily the best anniversary celebration. So obviously with all that information in there, I guess they didn't want to talk about or reveal which character is going to be getting the Zenkai Awakening, at least the first Zenkai Awakening, right? Because I assume there can be multiple characters that receive Zenkai Awakenings throughout the anniversary. but. If we go off of last year's schedule, which it looks like this anniversary is going to mirror last year's schedule in terms of releases for banners. So we have part one. Uh, obviously, this part one banner is way, way, way better than last year's part one banner because last year's banner just had UI Goku and the transforming Vegeta and a few EXs. And that was the entire banner. This year, we have two extra summonable sparkings on the banner. I assume like, is it? crazy to think that maybe part two would also have four summonable sparkings four new summonable sparkings i don't think that's crazy to think so we'll see how they handle that but the timing of the banner drops should be around the same as last year so if that's the case i think it's also safe to assume that the zenkai release timing should be around the same as last year now zenkai vegito blue was uh, the Zenkai that came out during part one of last year's anniversary, and that came out on June 7th. So June 7th was about a week after the initial drop of the anniversary. So right now I'm recording this video on May 28th. Um, this upcoming week is uh, the, the reset day, weekly reset is May 31st. That is Wednesday for me. That's when weekly reset will happen. That's when a lot of additional events will drop as part of part one. We already saw all this information in the news tab as part of the anniversary celebration information. Um, so I don't expect anything additional to be dropped or announced for this Wednesday. But the following week is the seventh. <laughs> Actually, I think Vegito Blue might have been the seventh or the eighth. I can't, whatever. It's the same. It's the same week as it is this year. Um, so I think this this year. Uh, basically, in about 10 days from now is June 7th, which is a Wednesday, which is weekly reset. That, I think, is when we can expect to see the part one Zenkai Awakening character. And because last year was an LF Zenkai, I think it's very, very likely that this year we could also see an LF character receive a Zenkai Awakening for part one of the anniversary. So we'll see how they handle that. But um, I want to go through some of the choices here and look at some of the candidates for the potential part one Zenkai. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the universe reps tag over here, and then we'll take a look at just all the Legends Limited characters that are in line for a Zenkai Awakening. Um, obviously, universe reps is the main theme, the main focus of part one. So I think it's probably most likely that whatever Zenkai we end up seeing for part one will be from the universe reps tag. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be a universe rep LF character, but based off of last year's schedule, I think it's probably most likely that whatever Zenkai we get during this first week here is going to be a LF unit. Um, regardless, let's just take a look here and see which characters potentially could be getting a Zenkai. So there's a few options here, I think, um, not even just counting LF characters. Like, I think, would it be absolutely asinine to maybe think like God of Destruction Topo could get a Zenkai or Red Kefla could get a Zenkai? or Yellow 17. I think Yellow 17 actually is a pretty strong candidate for getting a Zenkai here. If they're not going to do an LF for a Zenkai during this first part here, and maybe they want to save the LF Zenkai for some part later down the line for the anniversary, maybe, maybe part two, you know, movie theme. Maybe they want a Zenkai on movies character for part two or whatever. Maybe they're saving whatever LF character to get the Zenkai for a later part of the anniversary for whatever reason. So it's not guaranteed this first part's going to be an LF Zenkai, but um, I think it is more likely, but regardless, I think this yellow 17, if they don't want to do an LF Zenkai for the first part, actually could be a pretty good option here. Um, he was a pretty good character on release, really powerful Android unit, obviously fits the theme really well with Goku and Frieza being the headliner. He was sort of the third character that they fought alongside, um, and actually could work pretty well, I think, with the blue 17 and of course Goku and Frieza themselves, because Frieza is a blue unit, so yellow blue makes sense. So that's, I think, one, one option we're looking at here. 
Another decent candidate could be Blue Topo. I think Blue Topo is a character that on release actually was able to do like pretty much everything. <laughs> he, he basically fulfilled every single role by himself. He could tank, he could do pretty good damage, he supported, he healed, he locked, like he did everything. So I think a Zenkai for Blue Topo actually could be pretty damn good. Let me take a look at his, oops, I guess the page isn't working. Let me try one more time. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Is this going to let me open this? Nope. Okay. Well, we can't look at it. Um, I think his Z ability is pretty good. I think I remember him buffing blue with his Z ability in addition to like, I think it was Rival Universe he was buffing. So Rival Universe, not the greatest Z ability ever, but at least he also does buff. I think I think he buffs blue with his uh, Z ability. But I would have to check just to make sure that I'm not misremembering this. Yeah, it doesn't look like this website is working for whatever reason, but uh, a potential candidate blue topo, you know, not, not a crazy, crazy pick, I don't think, but at least he's there. Um, and then similarly, we could potentially see like Red Dispo, Blue Basil, um, I think Blue Basil, maybe, you know, I mean, we, we already have the Bergamo Zenkai, so we know that characters from this time period they, they were looking at in terms of zenkai -ing. Um, and that I think is pretty much it in terms of the non-LF units, right? Like this, this Blue Goku, I mean, it, I say universe reps, but it's mostly just Tournament of Power characters. Obviously, Goku and Frieza are Tournament of Power specific. Um, now, in terms of the LF units, I think there's only two possibilities for the LF for uh, the LF Zenkai, poss the candidates for, for this part one here. We have Ultra Instinct Goku, the purple one. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I think this is probably the most likely candidate to get a Zenkai by far. This is currently the oldest LF character that exists without a Zenkai Awakening. It is his time. There is not going to be a more fitting opportunity for this character to be getting a Zenkai Awakening than right now. If you were to hold a gun to my head and ask me what character is going to get a Zenkai for the celebration, my answer would just instantly be this character. Purple Ultra Instinct Goku. I think it's, I think it's, I don't want to say shoe in, but I think it's like so likely to the point that I would be fairly surprised if it was anybody else. So I think all signs are pointing to this purple UI Goku. However, on the other side of things, <laughs> Would you guys be like super mega floored if the Zenkai was actually for this character, this Jiren? It's still not letting me open it. This purple full power Jiren. I think I would be surprised if it was him, but I wouldn't be like jumping up and down doing flips if it was Jiren, right? Like, that wouldn't be that surprising to me. He would definitely be the most recent character ever. Would he? With a Zenkai? Actually, is Red... No, yeah, he would be. Because Red 21 is right now, I believe, the most recent character that released with the Zenkai Awakening. I think Jiren released in the same month as her, but he was technically after her. So yeah, he would be the most recent character to get a Zenkai Awakening. He already has his unique equipment and nobody uses him. Would it actually be beyond the realm of possibility for this character to be getting a Zenkai? I don't think so, but there's no way he's more likely than this purple UI Goku. So those are sort of the candidates directly from the uh, universe rep tag here. If we go ahead and take a look at the Legends limited characters available right now, I sort of want to just go in order of oldest to newest. So here's when things get a little bit interesting because we have purple UI Goku, like I mentioned, he is the oldest Legends limited character that does not have a Zenkai Awakening. So this character released as part of Legends Festival 2020 alongside the Pride Troopers, Jiren, Topo, and Dispo, all on the same banner. Honestly, like pretty much a identical format to the banner that we have for part one of this celebration. So this guy comes out, Legends Festival. The next LF characters released for part two of Legends Festival. We had Full Power Broly and we had Blue Gogeta. These two characters right here. Neither of these characters have Zenkai Awakenings either, right? So this is where we circle back to what I was saying uh, earlier in the video, where if part two or part three ends up being movie related, they might hold off on Zenkai and LF character until the movies portion, because what if they want a Zenkai Broly or what if they want a Zenkai this Gogeta? It's possible. A lot of people are speculating part three could be Ultra Vegito Blue. What better person, what better character to pair alongside Vegito Blue as a Zenkai than this Gogeta? Imagine they release an Ultra Vegito Blue and then they Zenkai, awa Zenkai Awakened this yellow Gogeta Blue. That would be crazy. That would be insane. You know how many people would be happy about that? That would be a really, really nice drop there. Um, I think me personally, I think this purple UI Goku just fits way too well with the theme. And not to mention, he actually will be Zenkai buffing Goku and Frieza because they are purple, right? 
So that that's, a, that's something to remember as well. But this character doesn't have a Zenkai. Then we had these two characters, Gogeta and Broly. Neither of these characters have a Zenkai. And then in January, we got future Gohan, who also does not have a Zenkai. So we had a period where they released four characters in a row of LFs, and neither of those have a Zenkai Awakening. And that's not all, because after future Gohan, we got Kid Buu, who also does not have a Zenkai Awakening. So we have five consecutive LF releases, all in the same time period. UI Goku, Gogeta and Broly, Future Gohan, and Kid Buu. All five of those characters don't have Zenkai Awakenings. Then we move forward to Rose, he has one. Then we move forward to Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he has one. And I believe Super Saiyan 4 Goku still... No, sorry, I was about to say, I believe he's still the most recent LF with a, with a Zenkai, but that is not true because Evolution Blue Vegeta is a post third anniversary character and he does have a Zenkai. So we go to Rose, he gets one. Super Saiyan 4 gets one. Then I think we skip to the third anniversary. Obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta doesn't have one and Merge Zamasu doesn't have one. And then the Revival Gohan doesn't have one. Um, and then I think we got Frieza. And then I think we got Vegeta. And then I think it was Great 8 Vegeta. So there's like a bunch of characters in that mix that don't have Zenkais, but it's pretty interesting that we went five LFs in a row with no Zenkai, and then we got Rose who has one, and then we got Super Saiyan 4 Goku who has one. So I think when you take a look at the list of LF characters here that don't have Zenkai Awakenings, you can expect like UI Goku, Gogeta, Broly, Kid Buu, and Future Gohan to probably all be relatively close in proximity to getting a Zenkai at some point in the, I would say, relatively near future. They might be a little bit scared to Zenkai Awakening Future Go to Zenkai Awakening Future Gohan, which I don't blame them for. Um, we'll see how they handle this. This might be one of those characters where it's like they just don't want to Zenkai him for a while, just because of how how used he has been. Um, but that really covers, I think, everything I wanted to mention about this. Again, I think we should probably be seeing um, an announcement for the Zenkai character, typically a day or two before they drop. So I would say Monday, June fifth or Tuesday, June 6th, Japan time, is when the announcement for who's going to be Zenkai will drop. I believe they usually do it on social media. I remember last year, I think they dropped the Vegito Blue Zenkai announcement on social media and people were going crazy for it. So that's when I expect the announcement to drop and then the actual Zenkai I expect to be on June 7th. <clears throat> June 7th, and um, if I had to pick a character, I, I would say like 90%, it's probably going to be Purple UI Goku because it's his time, the theme fits, He's going to be buffing Goku and Freeze with the Zenkai ability. This would be a good addition to the team with him being purple. He is, you know, seemingly going to be pretty good against Ultra Rose. He has the auto dodge. He's type advantage. That would be a nice pick, in my opinion. So that this is my choice, purple Ultra Instant Goku. Um, but if it's, I think, I think what would happen is if it's not this character, then I think we'll probably end up getting a non-LF Zenkai for this part. And then for a part two or part three, then they'll pick a character to be uh, Zenkai, an LF character to be Zenkai. So let me know down below what you guys think about uh, this part one of the anniversary potential Zenkai character. Who do you want to see be the Zenkai? Um, I, I think most people would agree that this character, this purple UI Goku is most likely and the most wanted. So let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.